Hello everybody. This week's camera is the Olympus Infinity. It was known as the AF-1 in most of the world. Uh, it was introduced in 1986. Uh, there's a picture floating around on the internet of Andy Warhol using this. It's not as much of a distinction as it used to be. The guy used a lot of different cameras. Um, anyway, this has a Zwicko 35mm f2.8 lens. They don't have the letter after Zwicko, so I have no idea how many lens elements it has. Uh, it's autofocus, auto pretty much everything. Uh, it'll go down to about two and a half feet uh, to infinity. There's an autofocus lock using this button here. It's a little bit weird. You press the autofocus lock. You press the shutter and that locks in uh, the focus distance. You recompose, let go of the shutter, and it doesn't fire until you let go of the autofocus lock button. It's a little clunky, but it does have the feature. Um, it's uh, auto exposure. I don't know what the smallest aperture is, the widest obviously being 2.8. The shutter is from 1 30th of a second to 1 750th of a second. I think that's right. I've also seen 1 700th of a second. I don't have the manual for this. It has automatic flash. There's no override for the flash, so if the camera decides it needs it, it flashes. Um, it has automatic loading, uh, automatic film advance, automatic rewind at the end of the roll. It has this little tiny push it with a ballpoint kind of button if you need to rewind mid-roll for some reason. Uh, reads DX encoded film. There's no way to set it manually. Without the manual, I don't know the DX range or what it defaults to if you have a roll of film that doesn't have DX encoding. It has this XA style uh, cover and a tripod socket. That's about it. There is not much in the way of control. Although, while looking for a manual, I have found a lot of photographs taken with one of these. Some people have gotten some brilliant results. So, it's other shortcomings aside, the Zwicko lens is living up to its reputation. Um, it takes kind of an oddball battery. It's the CRP2. Um, I didn't realize at first that it's got to have film in it or else nothing will work. I mean, you won't hear any signs of life, the shutter won't fire, nothing. A little bit of a historical side note, Olympus's first autofocus was a rangefinder, uh, the CAF in 1981. There was another one before this, the AFL, that had a non-user replaceable lithium battery, so that wasn't too successful. There was a trip autofocus from 1984, then this in 1986. So it falls in between the XA3 and two, uh, 4. These were 1985, so obviously there was some overlap between the zone focusing and autofocus. And then the Mu or the stylus that came out in 1991. So Timeline wise, it's about like this, um, 85, 86, 91, um, there was a bizarre assortment, there were some follow-ons to this, a Super and then an AF-10 and a 10 Super and the Quartz date versions. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised by it, um, sometimes Auto everything can be frustrating, although this one is usually sharp enough to make it worth it. So, I might run another roll through it. I've got a, some camera videos stacked up that i got to do. So, anyway, I'll keep shooting, and I'll see you then.